when most people think of India, they think of a place like this. I'm in Paragons right now, but I'm about to hop on a metro and show you a place that you wouldn't expect is India. And I present this, which is also India, but a bit different. This is Gurgaon Cyber City, home of uh, international companies, uh, central headquarters, as well as many office buildings. There's malls, there's golf courses. There's a lot to see. Let's go take a look at it. Taking another metro trip today, just outside of Delhi. So we're leaving Delhi and we're heading to uh, the state nearby to this really uh, unique place. Hello, hi, I'm from... You're from Delhi? Delhi. Okay, Pahar Ganj. I'm taking the yellow line today, so there'll be a bunch of stops, and it's quite a distance. So I'm thinking I have to go one, two, three stops to Cyber City from platform two, which is around here somewhere. Got off the metro station at the Cyber City in Gurgaon, I believe it's called. This is a modern development for a lot of IT firms and large international companies are based here. And I think we're gonna find that this place looks much different than your typical India. Behind me is the Cyber Hub Mall. So right in Cyber City, a ton of uh, big brands. I'm seeing Adidas, Puma, Nike, even this place that sold me underwear before I came to India that I could only find online in the USA is here. This is a uh, international company. Before I came to India, I bought some of their underwear. You could get it, uh, it's good for traveling because you can wash it and it dries out really quickly. Airism, I think it's called. That's my camera right there. I should, uh, that would be a good shirt. I love my mom. We got some big shiny buildings all around it. We have some good headphones and some restaurants. So we're definitely gonna have to try some food. The question is what kind of food will we get? And what are we gonna buy? Cause I do need a couple things. Maybe I'll find it, maybe I won't, we'll see. We've got an Adidas store here. I'm trying to find the Nike store. Maybe we can get ourselves a hat at the Nike store. One of my favorite Indian movies. I'm here in the Puma store and they have a a uh, Formula One virtual simulator. Let's see if we can uh, give that a shot. It's set up like a typical car. I got a gas pedal, I got a clutch, I got a brake. I'm going through the different countries of the world. I see India, Germany, New York City. Those are some uh, really uh, trippy trees we have here. Oh. Oh, he took first place, the grand champion of the Puma GP. The guys at the shop here said they were gonna give me that since I did such a good job in that GP. I told them oh, my backpack wouldn't handle it, but um, you know, they're insisting, so uh, what can we do? I didn't realize you could get great coffee here in India, and one of the best coffee companies that I trust most is Blue Tokai. You can find these guys on Amazon. They will roast their beans and send it right to you with their roasting date right on there. And amazing thing about it is that these are beans from India. I will take some coffee here. 
Let's do the dock blend. I've never heard of this one. This has uh, cocoa though. What do we got? Cocoa, fruit jam, dark chocolate. They have cold brew, which I haven't had since I've been here. Maybe I should have it. I see it's in a can? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's in a can though. We have coffee in a can here. And if I'm completely honest, even though Blue Tokai is such good coffee, I have low expectations about this. I can't imagine coffee in a can being good. So this was a strong 18 hour brew with nutty and chocolatey notes. That sounds good. Let's see. It, uh, it's good. It's good. It's not my favorite type of coffee. They also do an iced pour over coffee, which might be more what I was thinking with the cold brew. We'll try it with some ice. I like that better. I got my camera all coffeed. But I'm starting to get hungry. So let's see what kind of restaurants are here. We got a burger place here. They have lamb burgers and also veg burgers. There's a uh, sushi restaurant right there called Yum Yum Cha. Very cool decoration. There's a place over this way that had Indian food that we want to check out. Okay. Not too sure where to go here. Maybe uh, you get a room. Yeah, each of these are little rooms. Check this out. Table, that's nice. You got a couch even? That is cool. This would be great for friends. You don't have uh, annoying other people bothering you, but now it's just me. Let's see what we got. Smells delicious in here. Smells like incense. This one's a bed. This place is so cool. It has Campbell's soup wallpaper. And if you like modern art, like myself, I couldn't have said it better myself. I'm sitting on this nice leather couch here. There's like no one here and no one is, is a waiter. So this place has some epic lunch tallies, which I'm thinking about getting, but they also have, well, no one is <laughs> helping me, so I'm leaving to another place. But there's other good places we'll go to. Let's go check them out. Looks like you uh, can play cricket against your friends here. At the Burma Burma Tea Room, that place looks good. It is not made with cheese, it's made with fruit. So cheese tea that is made with fruit. Anyways, I saw a restaurant up here that I want to try. Let's go check this place out. Okay, we're looking at a new hat. How's that? Does that look pretty good? Just do it. Okay, what about this one? I think this one might be better because it's not black. Although it might get a sweat stain here, but... This could do. It's kind of a big logo. I'm here in this place called Daba, which seems pretty popular. I saw it at Delhi Aero City as well. I'm looking at their menu and I'm seeing that their signature dish is balti meat, a famous mutton curry. So let's give that a try. I always like to try a restaurant's signature dish. I love the decor, lots of Bollywood uh, actors and uh, memorabilia. While I'm waiting for my dish, I'm watching the Chennai Super Kings play the Mumbai Indians here. Getting more into cricket. After going to my first cricket match there in Mumbai, I'm starting to get more interested in it. So I got a vat of uh, mutton curry here. A couple rotis, tandoori rotis, and some vegetables. Bones are sticking out of the vat, which that means delicious. Our signature multi meat, sir. This is curry cut pieces. So we got some lamb shank here. Nice. Three pieces. Lamb shank, that's the uh, that's the high dollar one. If you like meat or like trying new things, then uh, I think you'll like this. But let's give it a taste. Mm -hmm. 
The meat is just falling apart. It looks so moist. And I'm curious how the sauce is gonna taste. Oh. Oh. amazing. Let's try it with some uh, roti now. So delicious. That roti is so chewy. The sauce is full of spices. When I was in Hyderabad tasting food with my friend from the channel, Food Monks, he was telling me that meat cooked along the bone has more flavor. And I'm get, getting to experience that firsthand right now. After uh, dinner mint, very delicious. Glad I stopped in at the uh, Daba restaurant, established 1986 in Delhi. All right, two thumbs up for me. Now let's go see more of these beautiful modern buildings here in Cyber City. All right, so I, uh, I'm in a rickshaw here. We're gonna do a tour around Cyber City for 30 minutes. Here is one of the most striking buildings that you can see right when you get off the metro. It reminds me of something you might see in uh, Dubai. A little smaller, but... Gurgaon is actually a historic city. It's mentioned in the iconic book, the Mahabharata. At that time, it was the village of the very famous, forgive me in advance, Guru Dronachara. That's why it's called Guru Grandma, basically Guru's village. That then evolved to Guru Gaon, although the government renamed the city Guru Graham. We're driving along Golf Course Road, which is the main road through Cyber City. We have the metro on one side. We have the buildings, offices, apartments on the other. Anyways, out of the 500 Fortune 500 companies, 252 company offices are in Gurgaon. Okay, right here stopping. I'm right in front of Microsoft's headquarters here in Gurgaon. Make my trip, Microsoft, DFL, TBO. Everyone's beeping at us. I'm seeing a lot of recognizable brands like American Express, Samsung, Hero Cycles, I think the motorcycles. Over here I can see the headquarters of Oracle and Unilever, major corporations. Gurgaon's in the state of Haryana, and 40% of the revenue comes from this city alone. Driving through this part of town does not feel like you're in India. Well, maybe a little bit. Gurgaon's income per capita is the third highest in India. These are the type of places you can rent if you want to live out here. Not too bad apartment buildings there. Eh? You got some nice balconies there. They would be close to where you work since this area is built for, for working. And Gurgaon has the highest professional workers per square kilometer in the whole country. Cyber City reminds me a lot of Hyderabad's high-tech city. If you're liking the video, please click the like button to help the video go out to more people. And I'm traveling to every state in India. If you'd like to see the next video, please subscribe. Okay. We have this.